evil has a destiny. Hello folks, welcome back to Horror Channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rob Zombie's Halloween. Rob Zombie's Halloween indeed. So, what is Halloween uh, about? So basically, it's a 2007 American slasher film written, directed, and produced by Rob Zombie. The film is a remake of the 1978 horror film of the same name and the ninth installment in the Halloween franchise. The film stars Tyler Maine as the adult Michael Myers, Malcolm McDowell as Dr. Sam Loomis, Scout Taylor Compton as Laurie, as Laurie Strode, and Dig Furch as the young Michael Myers. Rob Zombie's reimagining follows the premise of John Carpenter's original with Michael Myers stalking Lori Strode and her friends on Halloween night, according to Wikipedia, right? So I was just reading to you from Wikipedia right there. Um, I was just reading from, from it. And uh, yeah, basically, this is the, the remake of the 1978 uh, classic, uh, the iconic Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So basically, I'm going to be telling you about what this movie is about, and then I'm going to tell you about what I thought about it. So, uh, first off, I'd like to apologize for being uh, not here for a while, a little while I wasn't here. I've been busy with so many things, with, uh, with the holy days and everything. By the way, I hope you had a nice Halloween, and uh, here I am, I'm back. For another review on Halloween, uh, the 2007 movie, uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween, nonetheless, but still a great, uh, a good scary movie in my opinion. So, what is this movie about? So, basically, it's pretty similar to, uh, Halloween, uh, from 1978. So, basically, it takes place in Haddonfield, field, in Haddonfield, Illinois. And basically, Michael Myers is a young kid at the time, and uh, he's living in a, in a household that is kind of dysfunctional, to say the least. Um, the mother is, uh, she's kind of struggling. She doesn't really know how to handle a family. Um, her boyfriend, I believe it's her boyfriend, um, or, or husband, not sure, but basically... He's, uh, he's not uh, Michael's father. He's just uh, like a stepfather. He's just like that. Basically, he's kind of uh, abusive. And uh, he's, uh, he's kind of uh, injured. He, he's wearing a cast and he can't really move. But he's, he's kind of, he's very, he's very abusive. He, he yells and he curses and he swears. Pretty much all of them swear, so that's pretty bad. It's pretty dis dysfunctional, and uh, and uh, basically, uh, yeah, it does. It's not working so well. Michael is being um, kind of uh, bullied by his own uh, at his in his own household, and uh, it's not going so well. And uh, basically, his mother is the only one that kind of um, stands up for him. Um, his sister, uh, maybe I'm going to be telling you about names. Um, his sister, what was her name? Uh, Judith Myers, played by Hannah or Hall. And, and I'll, I'll tell you about the actors later. I'll, I'll name them and, and everything as I usually do. Basically, yeah, she doesn't like her brother that much. She kind of, uh, she kind of teases him. She kind of says some hurtful things to him to some extent. But his mother, uh, De Deborah My Myers, is the only one who kind of understands uh, that her son deserves uh, love. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the boyfriend is a dirtbag. What was his name again? Perhaps I can find it here. Well, if I don't find it, uh, I'll let you know afterwards in any case. But, yeah. Uh, so, basically, we're introduced to this family that is highly dysfunctional. 
and offers this insight into Michael Myers' life as a kid that we didn't have in the first movie, uh, which is kind of like a prequel, you might say, about uh, how Michael, what Michael is going through, and what 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 is gonna what's gonna do to him. <clears throat> A little bit like what we had in Carrie, <clears throat> right? Um, the Stephen King's novel and the movie. So that's basically how it is. And uh, yes, Michael Myers is having it pretty hard. And uh, it, it's not going so well for him. At school, is pretty much the same, if not worse. Um, his... Uh, his classmates are making fun of him uh, because of his mother. Yeah, his mother is a stripper, so that's not pretty. So that's not good, right? I mean, and uh, for Michael at school, especially, it's pretty hard uh, to have this mother to have his mother being uh, the way she is, you know. Uh, so it's gonna take a toll on him at school. People are gonna be picking on him, and he even gets in a fight. Uh, he, he, he gets in a fight, sorry, uh, I mean, at school, basically, they're, they're those, those two punks who, who are, who are teasing him about his mother and what she does for a living, and basically, uh, Michael is gonna, he's not gonna get expelled, but basically his mother is gonna be asked to come, uh, to come over to, <clears throat> the principal's office after Michael um, says something bad, basically. But then Michael decides to sneak out at some point, and uh, basically one of the bullies uh, happens to be basically going back home from school, and this is when something is going to happen, and this is basically how it all starts, right? Then, then we move on to Halloween night, and basically, his mother has to go to work, um, do her work, right? And uh, Michael is all alone uh, at home with his sister, uh, Judith Myers, and uh, the father. Uh, what was his name again? The father. Um, perhaps I can find it somewhere. Not the father, like the father, the stepfather, I mean. Uh, the boyfriend, whatever you want to call him, he's there too, watching television, um, getting uh, getting intoxicated, getting drunk in front of the television, and uh, basically, um, yeah, I, I'll I'll find it later. Michael is all alone, and he wants to go tri trick or treating, but his sister wouldn't take him. Uh, she she's staying home uh, because she's having a boyfriend over. And basically, Michael is kind of uh, not very happy about it. But then what happens is that something really bad is going to happen. And Michael is going to become the killer we all know him to be. So this is pretty much it. Uh, the horror is going to start that night. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, it's pretty brutal and uh, bloody and... Brutal and horrible and awful and whatever you wanna you wanna call it, and yeah, this is how it all begins. Then Michael is is moved to a some kind of a psychiatric facility, a psychiatric facility in which he's gonna stay there for a long time, and then one one day he snaps as he's visited by his mother. He's just gonna snap on one of the. Order, orderlies, one of the orderlies, one of the nurses, one of the orderlies, whatever you're going to call her, or them. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, yeah, this is pretty much how it happens. And then the movie is going to move to, um, I believe, 15 years later. And then Michael is going to basically do... I don't, I don't want to spoil it too much, but... To, like, to to put it in a nutshell, to put it in a nutshell, he's going to tr try and escape, and he's going to be successful, 
And then uh, he's going to be stalking his sister, the one who survived, Lori Strode, who was a baby back then, the beginning. A at the beginning, and basically, he's going to target her and her friends, pretty much like what happened in the first, what happened in the first Halloween movie, uh, 1978, the 1978 John Carpenter's movie. And yeah, this is basically it, really. I don't know what else... I don't have much more to say about this movie, except uh, what I just revealed about it. So, Halloween. Rob Zombie's Halloween. How is it? Is it good? Is it bad? What did I think about it? Well, I gotta admit that Rob Zombie's Halloween is a very hated movie. It's kind of over overly hated, in my opinion. It's overhated. Is it that bad? Is it horrible? Is it, you know, is it that that uh, lame? Is it horrible? Is it awful? Does does it really? Is it really that as as bad as people say? Is it that poor? I believe that the movie itself was not bad, and uh, a few reasons behind it. Uh, one of the reasons is that I genuinely believe that that Michael was scary in this movie. He wasn't that scary, maybe not that scary, like in, uh, meaning, um, he wasn't as scary as you might remember him to be in the, in the other movies, but he was kind of scary, I gotta admit. He kind of scared me, especially as a kid, you know, his, uh, what was the actor's name? Um, um... Dave Furch, uh, he did a pretty good job. He really scared me as a kid. And then later on as an adult with the mask, you know, the famous Halloween mask, the white mask with the hair, that's, that's, that's wild. Uh, yeah, he was pretty scary as well. I believe that Michael Myers was pretty scary in this movie. And uh, that's one thing. I like the fact that there's a prequel kind of... Uh, aspect to it in the beginning, in the beginning, even though it wasn't necessary, I'd say that it's better to just have a killer who's just, uh, crazy and you don't know why. That, 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 that's more scary, that's scarier in a way, that's more, it plays more in, with the viewer's fears, uh, but it's not that bad, really. Um, yeah, I do believe that the movie did pretty well. Um, and, uh, on that regard, and, uh, some of the actors were pretty good, in my opinion, especially, uh, Sam Loomis, who was played by M Malcolm McDowell, Malcolm McDowell, who was, uh, pretty, pretty good, I got, I gotta admit, um, I really liked that about him, um, he wasn't as, he not, he's not as scared, I mean, I mean, Donald, Donald Pleasance is, you know, the best in my opinion, but knowing that he had to basically compete with such a great actor, I gotta say he lived up to what was expected of him. He did pretty well, I gotta, I gotta say. I really liked how he played the actor, uh, the character. I really liked that. Um, there's also uh, Danny Trejo in, in this movie. Um, Danny Trio. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, but yeah, he did a pretty awesome job too. I like this actor a lot. The thing is, he was really nice to Michael. He was one of the help at the at the clinic at at the the, the facility in which uh, Michael was being kept, and he was the only one that kind of liked him. That was nice to him, and uh, sadly. We're, I, I'm not going to spoil anything, but <clears throat> you'll, you'll see what happens. But yes, uh, that's, uh, the actors were pretty good. And uh, you might be interested to know that Daniel Harris, who was in uh, a few other Halloween movies uh, before this one, was is in Halloween 2007, Rob Zombie's Halloween. And, uh, yeah, she was in this movie. She was one of, uh, Lori's friends. And, uh, she, she did pretty well in this movie, I gotta admit. She was, uh, she wasn't a nice, um, 
girl in a way. She was kind of uh, mischievous. You know, she was uh, one of those, you know, mean girls at, at school. But she she was good in it. And, uh, and I was glad to see her to being part of this film, especially after what we saw in uh, the other Halloween movies, part four and part five, part four and part five. She was pretty great in those. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, really. I don't know what else to say about this movie, um, other than the fact that it was good. Um, yes, um, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it. The ending was pretty okay to me, not that great, uh, not awesome, but pretty good, I gotta admit it was. Yeah, it was um, pretty well made, pretty enjoyable. And uh, yeah, the the final twist and uh, the chasing scene was good. The actor, the actress that plays Lori Strode, uh, her name is um, what's her name again? Hang on a second, Lori Strode, where are you, Lori Strode? Uh, Scout Taylor Compton. Compton, uh, she was okay. She was pretty good in this movie. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so my thoughts on this movie are that it's okay, it's a good movie, it's not perfect, but it's not awful either, somewhere in the middle, it's, uh, it's pretty enjoyable for what it is, and, uh, it's not that bad, I gotta admit there are a few things that are kind of wrong with this movie, um, like, perhaps, yes, the, the whole prequel thing, it was okay, but it could have been shorter, to some extent, um, sometimes the movie feels, it feels like it's kind of dragging, um, like it could be a little more faster paced, <laughs> but other than that, it was okay, it was a good movie, it was enjoyable for what it was, so perhaps I, I would like to conclude by letting you know about the cast and who played who. So let's get into it right now. There are a few actors I'd like to name. M Malcolm McDowell as Dr. Samuel Loomis. Brett Dorff as Sheriff Lee Brackett, who was uh, um, Daniel Harris's uh, character's father, uh, if I'm not mistaken. T Tyler Maine as Michael Myers. Dave Forch as Michael Myers, age 10. Scout Taylor Compton as Laurie Strode, a Angel Myers, Sherry Moon Zombie as Deborah Myers. Right, I believe she's Zombie's wife, uh, so she's Michael's mother. She played uh, Deborah Myers, Sherry Moon Zombie, William Forsyth as Ronnie White, Richard Lynch as Principal Chambers. Udell Kyer as Morgan Walker, Clint H Howard as Dr. Coplinson, Danny Trejo as Ish Ishmael, um, Ishmael, Ishmael Cruz, Lou Temple as Noel Clocks, Tom Towles as Larry Redgrave, Bill Mosley as Zach Seaman Garrett, Leslie Easterbrook as Patty Frost. Steve Boyles as Stan Payne. <clears throat> Daniel Harris as Annie Brackett. Skylar Gisando as Tommy Doyle. Jenny Gregg Stewart as Lindsay Wallace. Hannah Hall as Judith Myers. Christina Klebe as Linda Von Der Klock. Adam Weissman as Steve Haley, Dee Wallace as Cynthia Strode, Max Vanville as Paul, Nick Mennell as Bob Sims, Pat Skipper as Mason Strode, Daryl Sabara as Wesley Rhodes, Richmond Orcat as Deputy Charles, Ken Forey as Big Joe Grizzly, Paul Kempf as Officer Lowry, Sybil, 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 Danning as Nurse Wynn, 
Mickey Dolans as Derek Allen, Daniel Robach as Lou Martini, Mel Fair as Taylor Madison, and Sid Haig as Chester Chesterfield. Sid Haig. <sighs> wow. Uh, sorry if, if uh, I lost you. I uh, lost you. Sorry if I lost you through this. Uh, that's a lot of names I know, but. I really wanted to get this out, and uh, I couldn't find out uh, who the actor uh, was. What was the name of the actor who played the father of Michael Myers? Not the father, but uh, stepfather. Perhaps I can find, uh, you know, look it up very quickly. But yeah, those are the main actors in the movie. Um, and uh, I gotta admit, they were okay to me. Um, yeah, for the most part, they did pretty well, right? Um, yeah, so... So this movie, it's not as bad as people say it is. Um, it's not perfect, I gotta admit. It's not as great as... It's not nearly as great as the other movies that we had. Um, but uh, it was okay. Oh, yeah, so basically... The character I was telling you about, his name is Ronnie White, and he was played by, uh, hang on a second, William Forsyth, right? Yes, he was, um, he was a bad character. He was, um, he was a dirtbag, scumbag. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't like him that much, but I wanted to name him. His name is Ronnie White, just in case you'd like to know. Um, you'd like to know that, maybe. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, let's read this movie and get it over with. Uh, let's get it over with. So basically, I'd give it a, maybe a 7 out of 10. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'd say 7 is pretty good. Um, I don't want to give it a too high re rating because it was good. It was good. It was good, but it wasn't perfect. Um, yeah, there were a few things in there that wasn't... I didn't like it that much. There's a lot of... Yeah, mind you, there's a lot of uh, profanity in this movie. A lot of bad words. A lot of prof a lot of profanity. Maybe too much, even. Uh, and there's some... Uh, yeah, it's not for... It's not for young teenagers, right? It's It has a lot of things that are not suitable for old viewers. and uh, But, you know, other than that, it was all right. You know, if you, if you, if you don't pay too much attention to these things, uh, you know, if you look past that, it was all right. So that's pretty much it for this movie, Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, how much we, how, how, uh, how would you rate this movie? I'd give it 7 out of 10. Uh, what about you folks? Let me know in the comment section down below. I really can't wait to hear about what you have to say about this movie. Not great, not perfect, but not as bad as people say it is. Not uh, as underrated as it is. But yeah, uh, I'd really like to hear about what you, I'd really like to hear what you have to say about this movie. So let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye, folks. Take care. This whole channel review is for you. Signing off. I mean, whole channel reviewer, whole channel uh, uh, for you. Signing off.